Well, they're here. Here we go. Making the switch. You ready? I'm not ready for this. All right. Got my glasses. I know exactly what to do. All right, so before we get into today's episode, I want to read a couple comments that you guys have been leaving on YouTube. I think it might be good to start an episode like that at least once a week. But real quick, I do want to say thank you guys for leaving all those comments, all that feedback, sharing all these videos and everything that you're doing. That stuff is pushing me like you wouldn't believe. And regarding the question I asked on how many days per week would you guys like for me to vlog, a lot of you were saying three to four, and that actually works perfect with my schedule because that leaves room to put out one scratch break and one scratch crate per week as well. So I'm gonna try my best to give you at least three vlogs per week along with those other videos. All right, so let's get started. Itimmy101 says, well, Freddie, first and foremost, I would like to say that I absolutely love all the hard work and dedication that you put into your videos. That said, if you feel like you can pump out extra vlog videos through the week, that would be excellent. Just don't overwork yourself. Also on the optimism topic, I completely agree. No matter how good we feel, there will always be someone hating. Well, first off, I, Timmy, thank you for the comment. In regards to the haters, yes, there's always gonna be a couple of haters around. But there's something that I always remember. Haters gonna hate, creators gonna create. Alex Norcant says, what's the song at 337? Best episode. Adam Owen says, editing is on point. And he left the uh, fire emoji. Thank you. Anthony Peterson says, keep up the good work. Man, I'm a fan. I scratch only a little bit, but I've been DJing nearly 20 years. Would like to practice at least one hour a day, scratching and learning the basics. Anthony Peterson, yes, keep scratching. John Thompson says, hello from New Zealand. What's up, New Zealand? Love the videos, and it's great to see snippets of the technology you use to make your videos, how it works, and also the awesome city you live in. Love it. Looking forward to the next video, and don't forget your seatbelt. My bad, John. Safety first. DJ Don Q says, great job. As always, man, love your channel. You were very instrumental in helping me decide which portable turntable to purchase. Thank you for all your hard work. By the way, what's the name of the song you are cutting to? Yeah, the song is right there. DJ Big C says, dope camera angles. Can you do a review on the new Jesse Dean PT-01 scratch fader soon? Yes, Big C, that fader is coming very soon. And speaking of Jesse Dean, I have a video that I've been holding on to that I'm getting ready to release with a bunch of LA homies here pretty soon. Actually, you should see it right before NAMM. So look, keep an eye out for it next week. All right, that's it for reading the comment section time or whatever we wanna call it, uh, time to move on. But real quick, thank you guys for all the feedback. Like I said earlier, that stuff has got me crazy motivated to get out there and create. And for all my old school heads out there, and I know you're out there, because I got y'all talking when I did that electro mix. What you know about that? All right, let's go. Hold up, real quick. So I have this idea that I wanna share with you guys. So you guys know the series that I have, the Scratch Crate, where I showed the records. Well, my homie Sean P gave me an idea a couple weeks back that kind of sparked something else and kind of grew. So I haven't officially announced this, but I wanted to give you guys scratch homies that watch the vlog the first run at it so at the beginning of every video instead of me opening up by saying yo what up my name is freddie swift style garcia i'd like to see your setup or your scratch crate and i want you guys to open the video for me so instead of me opening and saying my thing i want you guys to send me a five ten second clip saying what up your name is where you're from and welcome to the scratch crate So shoot me a link with your video, maybe put it in Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that. One of those free services should work. Uh, it doesn't have to be more than 15 seconds, but you've seen plenty of my videos. Just open it up in your own way and I'll share it. Look who's here. Somebody else is here too. Yo, what's up, man? This guy. I, I made it, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Things that 
All right, so on this week's episode of The Best Thing on the Internet, <laughs> my man Dopez has got something to show you. Props to um, Oma Rock, killed it right here. Peter Piper routine on virtual DJ. No controller, just keyboard and mouse. That's all you need. Props to that dude. I'm gonna link him up. You're gonna see that video. He killed it.
I've been looking at the 65 or 6300s of log width. Uh, so Fred has a 6300 and I've got my wide lens on it. Uh, I wanna see what it looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna switch over right now. All right, so this is the 6300. Let me know what you guys think of this look compared to the vlog look or compared to the other camera that I've been giving you. So yeah, this here. Dope is flipping this track. He used to have a Z2 but uh, he got rid of it. I miss it. And he missed it, so he comes over and plays with mine. So if anyone wants to make a GoFundMe, <laughs> let me I know what missed, you. I just missed the buttons. That's the only thing. Don't worry. I don't miss whack dirt. What? <laughs> Get out of here. You see? Okay. Okay. I know. I this know. My... I know. Farmer. How about you miss this? <laughs> he used to use tractor in the Z2, but uh. He switched over. He's got. He's won 62, so you can't blame him. The dude gets free mixers every year. So yeah, but guess what? He's at my house playing with my tractor. Come on, man. You hear that rain? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, rain ain't hearing nothing. Rain's gone. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this view, because uh, I'm really interested in this camera. Uh, it shoots 4K. It's got my inputs, and I've already got a bunch of lenses for it. So yeah, back to the action. switching to this one because I can get wide and super wide and I love that cinematic look so so if you remember I hooked up the a7s the other day and right away when I looked at the footage I just missed that cinematic look and this camera's dope and all but it just doesn't give me that bokeh and that cinematic look that I'm used to so yeah camera one camera two all right so this is how I would set it up look like this. Man, listen to this guy. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Dopez and 512 Fred for blessing the tables. See you guys next time. Y'all want to say anything? Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Eat your vegetables, Fred. Love you guys. Love you guys. Man, all love. Keep scratching. Peace. Living on my trap toe, 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 over. Every trap, 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 every trap